Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty, is mighty. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty, is mighty. He is mighty to the safe, he is mighty to him, he is mighty to save, he is mighty to him. Again, sharing some more wonderful words of Almighty God. So let's give thanks. It's an evening time here in England. A glorious June day. Beautiful weather. So it's a time to give thanks to Almighty God. The time is nearly half past seven in the evening. And it still stays light till oh, about ten o'clock in England at this time of year. So it's been a great old day. So I'm going to share some more of Almighty God's words. I'll just say a word of prayer first. Almighty God, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your wonderful presence. We thank you that you're wonderful. Lord, you save us, you purify us, you feed us with your word. Lord, and uh, we, you give us a living word. A living word that's uh, fresh and new. Not uh, not an old word. Some Christians are living by the old word that he gave 2,000 years ago or more. But no, we live by a new living word. A word which is fresh. As you said, I am the bread of life. He that comes to me shall never hunger, and he that believes on me shall never thirst. Amen. So thank you, Lord. Have your wonderful way. And help me to share your words with your people that they'll be blessed and encouraged. In your wonderful name, Almighty God. Amen. Okay, this is from Pursue the Truth and Have Life Entry. Here's Almighty God's words, right? Almighty God says, Some people say, Why is God always disciplining me? Why are other people so healthy? Well, I'm always ill. Why am I always suffering? Why is my family so poor? Why can't we get rich? Why can't I ever wear nice clothes? How come other people can wear nice clothes? Do not be jealous of how much of God's grace and blessings other people enjoy. It may be because their statues are small and God understands their weakness. So he bestows some grace on them to enjoy, letting them experience it little by little so that they gradually come to understand his deeds. For you, God, has extremely strict requirements. Your life as seen by man is not at all happy and you are constantly suffering. Yet you have understood many truths and you should give God great thanks and praise. This is someone who knows God's deeds. So long as someone can understand the truth, that is God's greatest blessing, whatever they may suffer. Amen. That's a short word tonight, a short word of encouragement from Almighty God. Praise the Lord. So he, he's, uh, sometimes we suffer, sometimes we go through trials, but uh, it's all for the best. God loves us and is purifying us. It says in the book of Daniel, Many shall be purified and made white. And that's what God is doing today, isn't he? It's, it's, it's a time of chastisement and judgment and he's purifying us. He's cleansing us, he's giving us his word. He's purifying us and he's, he's setting us free. He's giving us new wisdom, new knowledge. And we've been completely set free from Satan. 
I'll tell you, and that's, that's great news, isn't it? The best news that you can ever hear. Some people think, oh, I've won a lottery, so that's great news. I've won millions of dollars or pounds or whatever your currency is. But no, that's not the great news, is it? Sometimes great wealth brings misery to people. They're, they're still not happy. Even though they've got millions, they're still miserable. Why are they not happy? Because only God can satisfy your heart and satisfy that deep longing in your heart. Only the Holy Spirit, when the Holy Spirit comes to live within you, then you have that peace and joy. Even though you may be young, or you may be old, like me. <laughs> well, I'm not that old, I'm 72. But there are people older than me. But they still radiate that joy and that peace that, that only God can give. And, and He's a wonderful Almighty God because He's a sure refuge. He's a sure refuge. And uh, your friends can let you down. Even your best friends can betray you. But God, God doesn't betray you. He's got His eye on you. He wants the best for you. He wants you to be purified and live with Him forever in the new heaven and the new earth. That's what He wants. He wants us to, to, to keep in the way of holiness, have just uh, forsake Satan, uh, and, and just live, live for God. Live for Almighty God and live for His words and uh, be in pursuit of the truth all your life. Give your heart to Almighty God and He'll set you free. Amen? So praise the Lord for that. What more can I say? Keep pressing on and keep praising and praying and dancing and singing and sharing God's Word. That, that no matter what, if you're going through trials or troubles or some pain or sickness, it's only a temporary thing. And it says in the Bible, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. Amen? So let's praise the Lord. Again, I'll end with a song again. If I, if I get it right. <laughs> the Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty, is mighty. He is mighty to save, he is mighty to heal. He is mighty to save, he is mighty to heal. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty, is mighty. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty, is mighty. He is mighty to save. He is mighty to heal, He is mighty to save, He is mighty to heal. Amen. God bless you all, brothers and sisters and little children who may be watching. God bless you all and I hope uh, you're keeping in the way of following Almighty God and sharing His word with others. Okay, I'll see you soon in the next video. God willing. Amen. Oh,